Hello, it's Monday, it's 11 o'clock, so it's Monday Make. I hope you're all okay. So today we are going to look at an artist called Laurel Birch. She was an American artist, designer and businesswoman and was born in 1945 in California in the USA. Um, she created beautiful paintings, mainly of abstract cats, really, really decorative and very bright and colourful. So I've got some of her work here to show you. This is um, a piece of her artwork and you can see that the cats are very bright, colourful, cheerful and have abstract patterns. Here's another one of her um, designs here. So I thought this would be a really good thing to do for our Monday make. We've done dogs before, so now we're going to do cats. So for this um, Monday make, you need some white paper. You need some crayons or oil pastels. And it's quite important to have those because they um, create a resist when we do the painting. So if you can get some crayons or oil pastels, that would be great. Um, you'll need some watercolours if you've got them. If you haven't got watercolours, then just use paint that you water down so that you create kind of a wash. Um, you'll need a pencil. You'll need a pair of scissors. You'll need a black Sharpie or marker if you've got one um, and some gold paint or a gold Sharpie or gold gel pen, something like that, if, if you've got one. Um, it's also handy to have a hairdryer just to give things a blast off um, to speed up the process of drying. OK, so what I'm going to do is show you a quick and easy way of drawing a cat like Laurel's designs. Um, I've done a little pencil drawing, but what I'm going to do is just go round with my Sharpie just to give you an idea. And I'm going to just turn these round so that you can see them. Um, her cats have all got different shaped heads. So this is kind of a mix of, of a few different styles. Um, you've got your pointy ears and a nice big wide face. And then you've got your paws coming down and a tail sort of curving into the body like this and then they've got quite human like eyes so I'm going to pop those in and a nose and some eyebrows like this now you want to do this with your pencil really but I've just done it with a, a sharpie just so it shows up a bit clearer on the film. So that's the kind of idea that you want to kind of create. Um, and it's up to you how big you're doing it. I'm sort of doing it a bit bigger than A4, um, the final piece, but um, you can do it bigger if you want to. So once you've drawn that out with pencil, um, I've already tried to start one here. Um, you can start colouring in with some oil pastels. So what you can do is start adding in some facial features with the, the oil pastels and sort of dots and dashes um, where the eyes are going to go and patterns on the body, just like Laurel's cats. She's got um, zigzags, she's got um, stripes, she's got spots, all sorts of sort of shapes and patterns on those cats. So um, that's the kind of thing that you're going to do. And it doesn't matter. You can, you can sort of look at some of her work and just, just let your imagination run wild with the patterns that you're going to do. So I'm just going to do that really, really quickly. You can take a bit more care with yours, but just to show you what happens when you start using some watercolour. Um, I'm just going to put a bit more up there and um, a little bit down there. Okay, so that's decorated the cat with some patterns. And then what I'm gonna do is get my watercolor and I'm going to get it quite watery like this. And I'm just gonna start painting over my um, oil pastel. So can you see 
but where the oil pastels or the crayons are, the paint won't go over those bits. And what you can do is start bringing in some of the colours of your um, watercolour um, and start flooding it. Quite, it is quite wet, but you can start introducing another colour so that it all starts to blend and mix. So if you can see what I'm doing there, I'm, I'm building up the surface by two different colours. I've got sort of a, a rosy red and I've got a blue and where the water um, is flooding the, the surface, the colours are starting to merge together. OK, so that's what you're going to do all over your cat. Um, and you can choose whatever colour you, you want to do. I've done a pink and a sort of a, a, a bluey colour for this one. But you can see that with Lauren's designs, she uses all sorts of colours. So I'm not going to do the um, fill, fill that in completely because I've got one that I've already done that's nice and dry. So once you've you've completely covered your cat and it um, you've given it a blast with a hairdryer and it's nice and dry, you can cut it out. So here's one I made earlier um, and it's got all the shapes and patterns on there. And then what you can do with your Sharpie, and I'm going to do this around the other way for a minute and then I'll turn it round. You can then go round and start adding in some of the details. So going around the edges of your head, you could put in some of the eyebrows and those eyes like Lauren's um, designs and they've got those pupils in the centre and come down with the, um, the nose, maybe a little heart on the end of the nose and then a nice smile. And she quite often adds um, dots on her designs. So we can add some dots in there and maybe some dots going around the eyes like this. So there's no um, sort of set rules to this. You can kind of make it up however you want your patterns to be. But the black Sharpie or a black marker pen will really help to define all your your um your your design and your patterns that you've you've got on there so you can um you can sort of add some dots going up the legs if you want you can add um some more triangles um and just play around with whatever patterns you want so i won't completely finish that off right now but what you can do on there as well if you if you've got some is add a little bit of gold paint or if you've got a gold sharpie you could um you could do it with a gold sharpie um just add in some little flecks of gold um just to bring those designs alive um if you look at this one here you can see that quite a lot of the edges on um laurel's work has little bits of gold here and there so you can um, start adding some gold on your designs and when you've completely finished that what i would do is a few more different colored cats so that you've got a whole selection so you could do ones with bodies um, and you can also do just faces and then what you need to do is cut them all out and position them on a black piece of paper if you've got one if you haven't got a black piece of paper if you could get a piece of paper and just paint it black with some black paint that would be just the same and then what you can do is put all your cats together and maybe put some spots in the sky like laurel's got on this design and then you've got a really cheerful um, drawing that's been inspired by Laurel Birch. So there we go. That's a quick and easy idea for you today. I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, have fun with it and just come up with as many patterns as colours as you can. And as always, send me a photograph once you've done them because I really, really love seeing all your work. There's been some fabulous things being sent to me so far. And um, I think that's it. So um, 
I hope you're all safe and well and healthy and um, I'll be back next week with another little idea for you to try and um, I, I'm hoping that these ideas help to beat the boredom. So that's it for now and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.